Beta. So uh, Scotty, first of all, you know, first final four in the EuroLeague in this arena, first practice. How does it feel? It feels good. Uh, you know, we, we played here before, uh, but obviously it's a different court and there's a lot more people in here for our practice. But hopefully we can uh, stick to our regular game and, and you know, push the nerves aside and, and play a good basketball game. Looking back at your previous seasons in the EuroLeague, were you bothered by the fact that you hadn't reached the Final Four? No, uh, I think uh, if, if I'm bothered by anything, it's that we didn't make it last year. Uh, oh, and uh, the one COVID year that I had with Maccabi, because I really think that we would have made the Final Four and possibly had a chance to win, win the championship. So other than that, I don't think uh, I have a right to be disappointed, but uh, last year I think we could have made it. Scott is speaking of Maccabi. We were told that you may have followed the game last night, the Derby. Yeah, we were watching it on our way to the hotel. Uh, it was, uh, I don't know who, uh, Maccabi won, right? Yeah, yeah okay. It, it wasn't looking good uh, early, but uh, they, they, they pulled it out, I guess. And usually at least at uh, these kind of events, everyone talks about experience. Technically, you don't have any Final Four experience, but I guess at this point in your career, you've seen, you've seen plenty to compensate for it. Would you agree with that? I mean, your guess is as good as mine. You're right, I have zero experience in the Final Four, but, uh, you know, eight, eight seasons in the EuroLeague. Uh, everybody says that the Final Four is different, so I guess I'll see you tomorrow. How has it been scouted on with Osiris as a, as a head coach? It's been great. Uh, his basketball mind is, is incredible. Um, I'm lucky to be able to learn from him, and uh, he's a great guy too. Uh, it's fun to be around. And in this Final Four, you are also among the players with most, most game played in your league without having the title. So what would it feel like to win the title on your first attempt? You know? It would be amazing. Uh, that's the goal for every every EuroLeague season. So if we were to do that this year, I mean, I would just be incredibly happy. And just the last one, sorry guys. You will also have special fans here, including your dad who came here. So how this idea came to fruition and what does it mean to you to have your family around? Oh, uh, I mean, he's been saying uh, for eight years, if you make the Final Four, I'm going to come. So uh finally happened and you know he, he came on the first flight i appreciate yep. you know having two year two year league maccabi legends with you and sharas specific facing panathinaikos who just eliminated maccabi is there something extra in addition to <laughs> i've gotten plenty of tweets suggesting uh to you know do it for maccabi but uh i got enough on my plate i'm just trying to win it for myself and win it for my teammates and win it for Fenerbahce. Scott, obviously it's a first Final Four, but we cannot overlook the fact that during the Euro Cup, you were one of the main contributing factors to winning the Euro Cup with Dajka all them years ago. So experience might not be lacking after all. Uh, yes and no, because Euro Cup and Euro League are incredibly different. And I can't say that experience in the Euro Cup finals or Final Four can uh, relate to this, but I mean, I don't know. I also don't know, so we'll see tomorrow. Where do you see? Do you feel that you have home court advantage tomorrow with all the fans coming to support you? Uh, I know that there's a lot of Turkish Turkish fans here in Berlin, but I don't know how it's gonna how that's gonna end up in the arena tomorrow. So it'll be interesting to see. Yam Magar, you've been playing with him now for the you know past year. What, what could you say about Yam himself? What his future holds? Uh, you know, talk a little bit about him. He's a great guy, first of all. Uh, great to be around. Um, and I'm interested to see how his career shapes out because he definitely has a lot of talent and I think a lot of potential. Um, yeah, so so we'll see. I, I'm interested to see what happens next year with him. By the way, how were the celebrations after? Did it, you know, because coach, coach promised something after the win against Monaco in game five. So we're asking, yeah, did it really long. happen? It was an epic flight home. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Scotty, this morning Coach Sharas stressed out the, the concept of opportunity, like always giving the opportunity to his players. Uh, how much would you think the concept of opportunity and you be, being given that all throughout your career has helped you become, you know, an established player in the Euro? Oh, that's that's huge. Opportunity has been probably the biggest factor for me, uh, and it started with Dar Shafaka and specifically David Black, giving me the opportunity to lead the team. Um, 
at a young age, and I've, I've had great opportunities since then with Maccabi and uh, now Fenerbahce, so I've been blessed, I think. Did you talk to Coach Blatt? Did he give you any advice whatsoever towards this one? No, I just I sent him a, a birthday video, though. Apparently, they made a montage out of it. <laughs> this, this weekend potentially could mark two, one or two of the best games with Fenerbahce, who knows, but so far, Ooh, which which are the best games in your mind that comes to your mind when talk, when thinking about Fenerbahce and your your trajectory with them? I, mean, I, I don't know. The, the my favorite game was uh, definitely Game Five against Monaco. Uh, the the game that got me my first Final Four. Uh, and we'll see if uh, this weekend there's a better game. Scotty, what changed with uh, with Sarnas instead of uh, instead of Benitez? I mean, something more mental or uh, really technical? Uh, a, a bit of both. Uh, I'm, with the coaching change mid-season, there's a level of energy that's injected into the team, no matter who the coach is, or you know. So there was a bit of that, and I think he adds a a really a really strong technical mind when it comes to the game. He really focuses on the details. And so, uh, yeah, I think that's that's helped us. And how much confidence did you get from uh, winning a, a game five on the road and making history in the EuroLeague? I mean, confidence <laughs> for the whole team. Yeah, it was great. Uh, we believed we could do it last year. Uh, we came up short and uh, we wanted to take advantage of it this year. So it was nice to be the first, but I mean, it was, it was short lived because Olympiacos did it right after us. Scotty, you guys have the, in this matchup, you have a deeper front court. Uh, and backward is, I mean, crazy talented. What would you think play a bigger role in this in this matchup against Panathinaikos? Uh, it's hard to say because it could be anything, but I think uh, turnovers uh, could play a big role, and obviously just making shots. I've, I've, yeah, I think uh, I think that's. Turnovers will be a big key. If we can limit our turnovers, at least for us, that, that will put us in a good position. Kalatas will make the winning three again? I, I hope so. I, uh, if any of us make the winning three, I'll be happy. <laughs> it's it's quite some time, Scotty, that you know, you've been pooping overseas with a pretty high level, pretty good level, I would say. And now having reached the final four, uh, you, you, know, you, you, you are gaining that experience soon. Um, which advices would you give to American players coming overseas to try, you know, get uh, get some, you know, some, some good opportunities in Europe and eventually playing in the Euro League? Uh, oof, that's, that's <laughs> tough. It de- I think it depends on the person mostly, but if I could give general advice, it would be to be a team player, not try to. Not try to do everything, uh, but like sacrifice a little bit for the team, like boxing out stuff like that that doesn't show up on the stat sheet. Uh, think things like that are are important for setting yourself up to be on good teams and uh, to win the respect of your coaches.